When the best European players in the world come together, do they have the skill, the confidence, the will to take down the titans of the east? All hail the fear, the legend of GT. T1 2019. After missing out on Worlds the previous season, T1 reassembles a stacked roster like nothing it had done up to that point. Khan in the top lane, Clit in the jungle, Faker of course in mid, and a bot lane of Teddy and Mata. In every role, a veteran or a flashy mechanical phenom. A roster set to dominate. Nothing that would follow would indicate otherwise, as the team headed to MSI as the LCK representative. Gentlemen, we often get the quick ones in the early stages of the year, but this is one that I don't think anyone expected. SKT 3 0! And they come in on a wave of momentum at the mid season invitation. Their main competition was last year's world champions, Invictus Gaming, with a recharged rookie and the Shy. But lurking in the shadows was another super team flying under the radar of these powerhouse eastern giants. G2 Esports. The LEC had its fair share of strong international showings just coming off a world final appearance. Still, the region often received little consideration as a true contender. G2 was the ultimate experiment that looked to change that. What would happen if we took some of the best players in European history and the two greatest and put them on the same team? Cold shock blasted in the bottom. He's trying to escape now. That's a flash forward from Cap. One, two kills to G2. G2 finished the LEC regular season with a 13 and 5 record and scored a convincing finals victory. Perks's roll swap and Caps's addition to the mid lane seemed to have the effect that the team had hoped for. for now. No flash available. Going to just get the clone. Caps shock blast. Not going to be enough. And it's Perks. That's on the killing screen. G2 now had the best of both worlds: the creativity and unlimited potential of Caps, and the leadership and consistency of Perks, all while being surrounded by a cohesive unit and mindset. A way to describe their playstyle? Chaotic genius. But despite their aspirations, few on the international stage took notice. Fast forward to the knockout stage and T1 found themselves facing off against G2. T1, backed by a monster shadow of success, versus the best EU could muster trying to make a name for themselves. Who would falter and who would rise to the occasion? Stop the order of things, but speaking of stopping, it's a Morgana and the Black Shield. It's gonna be super high value. Find the target, G2 are so low. Yankos has gotta be very, very careful. One defending his chances, already gets one. That's the second kill for G2. Vanguard's hit by some time, but look at Teddy. He's flashed away to the right. Vanguard is down, taken out by Cap. But at what cost? Here comes Clint. Dragon Strike as well as the Karma Q. Picks up a kill. Now Teddy's running onto Perks. He's got double buffs available. A look at the power cords from Perks. He's in so much trouble for the next few minutes. Nikki's gonna flash forward. The Dark Fighting didn't connect. Black Shield is doing a lot of work though for Perks. Here comes Yankos. Teddy has already used the flash. Somebody heals still available to him. Gets caught up by the flail and the stun. Here comes the Fall Breaker. Clint jumps in. Denting blows to Mickey's face. First blood is available. One more auto. Clint can't close the difference. I mean, the lines are conga in and they might get some more damage on the tower. And remember what we just talked about, G2 had priority on the side lane. So the moment SKT split up to go and control it, that is when G2 strikes, they found another pen. Mickey fires the dark finding from out 
of vision. And Faker is caught out. Another tower one kept him alive so long. Protobot goes forward. Tides of Blood is doing work. Needs another transfusion. Hourglass buys some time. That prevents the stun. That prevents the death. Now first will get shut down by Clint. And Wanda steps forward. What's Connect to Samata. Sanguine Pool is thrown down. The Nexus is being focused. SK Telecom lead the series 2-1. to one. Bottom lane. Wonder obviously going to use that mobility to potentially help out. He was going top, now come back down. Faker gets knocked up from the Unburrow, but look at the teleports here from SK Telecom. Khan is going to be helping out. Caps is going low. Unburrow once again. Clint is the first target. Jump from the low. That's going to be first, but the latest of the series. Oh, here's Minder. Faker's gone. Flash available. He's rooted in place. Caught by Lissandra. Ultimate, and he's killed. Not winning the fight. They turn their attention to Mickey. He goes golden for a few seconds. Wonder's done nothing. He's been watching from the sideline. He finally gets a kill, but he doesn't get the reset. Now we try and turn it around. That's two for Wonder. He turns it back. Clint escapes from this line. All of a sudden, Caps is left below Teddy. Look at that auto attack. Red attack, tag, and G2 goes back. Tag Mata. Mickey's going to be in range as well. There's no flash available. And he may need to adjust his punch over the wall. Baron has been interrupted. Is Teddy is trying to step forward. The taunt is going to come out. Caps is trying to find the kill. Mata's in trouble. Fake is low. But they've already got one after Mata. Where is Teddy? Follow his HP bar. Can't flash the wall. Teddy's dead. Yankos is in the pit. G2 Esports have been gifted and donated a Baron from SKT. That's a dunk for one. A death from below for the double, for the ace, for the Baron and the base. G2 obliterate SKT. Look at all the death timers. They're looking to stamp their authority onto the SK Telecom Dynasty and make their way to the final. Baron empowered minions are pushing into the base. The gap be damned. Champions can fall, gods can bleed. Where were you when the West rose up to conquer champions? G2 Esports eliminates SK Telecom. North America face Europe at the MSI Finals. Baker once again has to stare into his own despair. It's a well-deserved victory for G2, and they did it their way. The final game going for their confidence picks. To be damned that SKT had time to prep for it. They roll it back, they win on red side in a series defined by blue side victories. NA versus EU. I never thought I'd live to see that as an international finals clash. And the deciding game in both series, they play the NA Special against IG, they play the G2 Special against SK Telecom. And for the first time in our international history, Europe versus North America at the MSI Finals. T1 would have to wait for their revenge. First, one must deal with the overconfident rookies. Even in quarters, only one LEC team remaining in the tournament. People want to see G2 show up. The last hope of the LEC, the last hope of Europe. On European soil, at a European world, that's a lot of pressure going on in this lineup. And we talk about, yes, Domo on the dark horses. But remember, the last few games that we saw from G2, it's looking pretty close right now. It's no longer pre-tournament favorites because we've seen the cracks of the surface for the second And then he could look to TP in mid to set up that wave. Now, Canyon looking for a play block. Then we'll connect. Nakam is there as well. TP coming TP in. now coming to the bot lane. They need to take down Perks. The Perks is flashed out. He's brought it back. And now they've been locked up. Barrel going to go down for first blood. Wonder is here as well. But Nagri has joined the fight. Forces Darmon to respect that a dive could happen. And now they yeah, find the pick. Big all cats. They manages to find the kill there. Meanwhile, Nagri is farming on the bottom side doing what he can. This is going to be the mid tier. Tier one broken down for G2. And Dom. the darkness. Coming around the corner. Nagri, they're gonna try to force an alt out early, but Nagri's quite strong. Probably not strong enough though. Divine Judgment coming down. It will not connect. Caps only one down. Nexus turret. It is a 5v4 with Baron. All eyes on Showmaker. Nagri, nuclear barrel. Can he protect him? Will it be enough to stop G2's onslaught as they push in? The Baron buff backing them up as they move in. Barrel fishing for the engage, looking. Nagari doing a lot of damage, but here comes Mickey X looking for the engage. The Divine Judgment. Nuclear to the backside. The Kaisa is big, but not big enough. And in style, G2 will close out game one in this best of five series. Yeah, so difficult now for Nuclear. Now he's going to be in trouble. That's a beautiful hook. A wind wall in the wrong direction. That was comically bad from Nuclear. And he's in trouble now. Burns down and looking a lot like a solo Q Yasuo right at this moment. And G2 fought it. 
will not happen. Perks, oh no. The Prey City, oh, just smiles. smite him down. And that's gonna be another team fight win for G2. It G2. looked eyes set on a series win. This will take them to match point as Showmaker is forced to retreat. Still so strong, Cavs healthy, Perks healthy, and that's all that's going to matter. They will be able to break this one down. Wonder has dropped in the meantime. Showmaker desperate to get something back. He goes golden, he tries to buy time. Barrel on the win, but it's not enough. G2 take us to match point. Barrel's gonna be in trouble. Coming down though, G2 if they overstay for too long, it might give Don one to Jamie. No, that's the body slam flash, an instant shutdown. Nagari gonna get taken out by the side of Perks. Nuclear Barrel coming goes down. in, massive. That's gonna be everything that they wanted, everything that they could hope for. Nuclear now free to deal damage. Jake was running for his oh, life. Look no one's putting attention. He's put his attention, he couldn't decide where to go, and that might cost them everything. Nuclear, it's not gonna be enough. Goes golden, but it's a long, slow goodbye. And that is the ace for G2 Esports. Caps is respawning. Here we go, the final moments. Wonder looking to close the game. It may not have been the cleanest series, but it certainly was a G2 series. And as they move in and as they close the game, they will knock Don Juan Gaming out of the tournament, and G2 will move on to the semifinals for the MSI rematch versus SKT, the last of the LCK versus the last of the LEC. really was that sixth man. The last of the LEC versus the last of the LCK for the MSI rematch. It's okay to do mistakes. You do the same twice? Uh, no, you do mistakes twice, it's, it's also okay. <laughs> no, times. I'm joking, it's not fucking okay to do the same mistake twice. Uh, was... Here it comes. This caps come. 7k. X flash. X flash over the wall. Effort here. Okay, in. Faker's gonna be on the backside. This pop boss will be massive if they can find it. That's the CD, that's follow up. Teddy into the backside. Faker now coming in. He's gonna slow a lot of members. I think he's still alive. Caps is still alive. Pop boss will only collect on one, and Wonder is still living. G2 are coming out on top of the fight for now, but a beautiful body slam will yes. not be enough. They're in the pinch. That is where you want to be against Desire and SKT have got nothing left in this game one. The Titans finally clash and it is G2 that comes out ahead in round one. No, they're just gonna rush it. Mickey's gonna try to body block. Just wants to make sure the click can't get into the pin. They need to shred through this one, they can get something done. There's no Yasuo there to body block. The cast comes oh, down. Oh, he stole it! I can't believe it in the moment where it matters most and Teddy now instantly has backline access. One is dead. Yeah, I mean, I might buy against against right, but like, uh, it's really whatever, fucking uh, sleepy to just do that. Unwinnable. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Now Perks has been locked out, it's gonna Good be trade. big damage. Cleanse and Flash coming out. Teddy definitely outplaying that one, and Wonder's been caught out again. That's gonna be one more kill. Khan gets yet another top side kill. Yeah, they've actually gotten forced to fight onto no and not been able to take advantage of it. Trying to find the pick on Effort. That's a huge shockwave. They get the fight kicked off. Effort now has to run for his life, but they've locked in the middle of everything. Faker again. walking around the wall. Teddy now trying to get something done. G2 trying to fire back. Khan is still alive, but Caps will find the kill. But now Clint into the midst of the fight. Teddy is going massive. Teddy yeah. is not enough because Perks is there to find the shot. Down. They can turn this around. Teddy can turn this. Teddy can turn this. No, he gets taken out. And just like that, in an instant, the series is defined as G2 move to match point. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be jumping onto Summoner's Rift for game four. The team will just be forced to retreat. Faker now coming down. The Kiana's now coming in. Oh, G2 are now locked down under the tower. Where's the Kiana going to go? Dashing in. That's going to be one. Invisible with the grass blade. Can pick up another one to go through. Faker cleaning up this fight. It's coming through. Yankos runs for the hills, but it is not enough. Still, it's a back and forth fight. It's such a close fight. Cat manages to sidestep. Click goes in, but the body set comes out. Another stop. Watch. Are you kidding me? The knockup is there. The shutdown is there. A bloody fight. In the mid lane. It hits, but it will not secure any follow up. Keep an eye on the cap stun. Ooh, he messes up the execution. Baits it out though. Clint had to go up into the air. It doesn't matter if he messed it up because Clint is still going to go down. But Khan, right to the backside. Caps goes golden. There's no one else to follow up. Khan's damage doesn't matter. But the ulti comes out. It's such a close exchange. For now, they're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of team, this could be the game. He gets the fight knockout. moment. Faker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel Yasuo. Amada's coming in. But he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Khan, can he do it? Perks. They've done enough. They've done it. They're going to win. G2. Khan, can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir. They can't do it. This 
is it! The greatest team in the history of League of Legends taken down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced! FPX, get ready! G2 is heading to Paris! God Slayer Esports defeated the behemoth of T1 twice in the same year. And thus, legends were born. In the modern era, Western teams and their players are still overlooked when compared to the best of the East. But not G2. Not the players on G2. To this day, the names Perks, Caps, Yankos, Wonder, Mickey X, and G2 are feared even by the best teams in the world. Regardless of their expectations or circumstances, when G2 is there, they warrant respect.